So in this video here, we're going to take a look at the transformer library from Hawk and Face. We're going to go over how we can set up a pipeline data sets, install the transformer library and basically just get started. So first of all here, let's start inside the Hawk and Face documentation and website. So up here at the top, we can just go inside the documentation and the previous videos in the playlist, we've already been going over all the different tabs here that you can go in the daily papers, data set models, how you can see all the different domains that you can use Hog and Face for. So now go inside this transformer library and we can go in and see everything over here to the left, how you can install it, quick tour. They have tons of tours and so on that you can use out of the box. And we're going to go into a Google Colab notebook and show you step by step, explain the whole process, how you can install it, the pipelines, what it's doing and so on. But here we can basically see that the transform library is basically just a tool and a framework that it provides both APIs, but also tools to download and train state-of-the-art pre-trained models could both be for natural language language processing, computer vision, audio, and also multimodalities. So we can set up these pipeline. We can just pull the model directly from the hug and face hub, fine tune them. You can use pre-trained models, customize models. Everything works together with PyTorch and also TensorFlow and even JAX as well. So right now, first of all, let's just go in and see how we can actually like set it up and install it. So we're just jump straight into this Google Colab notebook. We're going to create like a whole playlist covering the whole hug and face platform, the most common use tools and how you can use it and also some real world projects and situations. So this is really cool. I'm going to make these videos as short as possible so you can go through them relatively quickly and get a good grasp of what it is capable of. So first of all here, the only thing you need to do is pip install transformers. We're also going to download and install data sets, evaluate and accelerate. All of these are from Hug and Face and we're going to go over them in a bit more details later on. But here we just have a bunch of data sets that we can pull the transformers. We can set up pipelines and pull models in different domains. So first of all here, we're just connecting to a runtime and then we are going to call this pip install transformers. That's the main one that we need. In the second code block here, we just from transformers, we import our pipeline and with our pipeline, we can specify what type of task we want to do and also the model that we want to do. So right now we can set up a pipeline and it's just going to be a classifier because we choose this sentiment analysis, but you can also do it if you're doing computer vision, update detection, depth estimation and so on. And then you can specify a bunch of other parameters, but we're going to cover that in more details later on. This video is just for the installation setup and see how it works. So after it's done installing, let's just run this pipeline and create the classifier. Right now I've just been throwing in this text to the classifier so we can do sentiment analysis on top of that. I've been waiting this hog and face playlist for so long. So excited. Let's go in and see what it acts like classifies it for or as, and then we can also print the results later on. So right now it's just importing the pipeline, setting up the whole pipeline. You can, you can pull the own models and so on as well, as you can see later on. So when we're setting up a pipeline, we have this config JSON. We have a model as safe tensors and we also have our configuration for our tokenizer. And this is the way, and we also have our vocab.txt, which is our vocabulary. And this is pretty much like the whole setup, the whole structure for your models when you're working with Hog and Face. Later on in the playlist, we're going to see how we can upload your own custom models, pull them down, do different domains and so on. And also how you can deploy your models so you can run them out in the real world and actually like put them into production. So we just have an endpoint that we can spin up how we can do customizations, connect custom Python code and so on to it. So definitely make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also follow this playlist. So right now we have our classifier set up. We can just go down and classify the text. There we go. We can see we get a label, so positive, and we also get a score, so a confidence score of how confident are we that this label here is correct. And this is actually like a positive sentence that we're throwing into our classifier. We can also go in and just throw multiple inputs into it. We just need to have it as a list. Here we have two instances. So right now let's just do that and we can have a follow loop running through all the results. And again, we have two positive labels. So hope you don't hate it with the playlist here. Excited, been waiting on this playlist for long. So both of those are positive. And let's try to just delete this part here. Don't hate it see if it classifies that as pos positive as well, or it's going to be negative, but we can see that the confidence score is lower. So let's try to just say hate it. There we go. Now we get negative with a high confidence score. So this is one domain that we can use it for natural language processing. You can also use it to speech recognition. So if you want to do text to speech and so on, so let's try to just import that. 
In these tutorials here, I'm going to use PyTorch mainly, but you can do every single part of it in TensorFlow as well. And I'm going to show you some snippets where it makes sense for custom models and so on, but it doesn't really matter. It integrates together with all the frameworks. So now we have our speech recognition model up and running. We can load a data set. So from the data sets from Hawk and Face as well, we have this poly AI with minus 14, and then we can specify English language, and we are just going to take the training data. So this is how we can load in data sets as well. They have a ton of different data sets available, and we can basically just go in and pull them, use them for your own applications and so on. But later on, we're also going to see how we can connect custom data sets. After we've done that, we can basically just throw it through. So we just take our data set, throw it through it. We're going to have this feature extractor where we're going to have a sampling rate and so on. So we're basically just going to create our data set based on our audio. There we go. Now we can see that we've loaded our data set and we're just going to cast it into columns so we can throw it through the model. So right now we're just going to take the first couple of examples. Let's throw that through our speech recognition model and let's see what we get out as the results. So we're just going to run through all the results here and we're just going to extract the text for each individual prediction with our model. So now we can basically just see what we get out as the result. So I would like to set up a joint account with my partner. How do I proceed with doing that? And then we can just scroll through all of this and basically see all the outputs as well. So we get the four outputs. So this is basically just speech recognition that we're doing where we're taking our audio files, sampling it, and then referring it through a classifier or basically just like a speech recognition model and we can see we use this wave to rec from facebook and again the model here you can just go in and take whatever model available on hawk and face throw it in here for automatic speech recognition and it's going to use that so that's how easy it is so this is pretty much like the overall structure of the transformer library what it can be used for how simple it is and so on of course there's still a ton of other different things we can do a lot of customizations but Overall, this is how easy it is to get up and running and we're going to cover all the other parts as well. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. I hope to see you guys in those. Until then, happy learning.